Hi Cancer, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I've made some changes to this channel where I'll be posting all 12 individual sign readings once a week and live stream every now and then. And it's really, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear this week. Today is the 14th of January, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 6 p.m. Okay, Cancer, let's get your reading started. Spirits and Angels, please show me for Cancer. Important messages that Cancers need to hear this week. Cancer, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field this week. And this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. swords at the bottom of the deck okay cancer watch out for somebody who is going to betray you this week okay maybe this has already happened for some of you because the moon is all already in reverse that means um there is going to be a revelation in regards to somebody being deceptive towards you i think like cancer for like 90 percent of you this has already happened okay um if not cancer something is going to be revealed to you this week in regards to this deceit with the seven of swords and the fool here some of verse you may have taken a chance on this person on whatever this person might have been trying to sell to you for some of you could be related to love but it could also be related to money career five of pentacles it can be anybody but most of you cancer I think you already found out who this person is, what this person has done to you. And you may feel like, oh, how can I how can I be this foolish to trust this person, right? Ace of Swords and of first. Too many swords here. So this person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, can be any sign, okay? Some fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer as well. Um hmm unless cancer if it's vice versa if you've been a little bit deceptive or something some sort of deception here towards somebody it might be revealed and might cause chaos okay chaos drama but i feel like for most of you cancer you are the victim okay and the king of swords five of wands i also see you some of you might actually take actions towards whoever this person is. Because the king of swords is like, okay, now I need to plan. Now I need to strategize. I need to see what I can do to fight for what you think you deserve. Um... It's almost like nine of cups. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let this slide. That's the the energy that I'm picking up on. And space could also be saying, don't let this slide, right? Um, five of pentacles in reverse, so you might get back what what was lost. Whether it's your pride or your dignity, um, or your money, if this person stole your money um or st stole something whatever from you okay but i definitely see you cancer some of you are already planning how to get back at this person <laughs> if not basically saying hey you know what nine of cups and the chariot here chariot is a, a very successful card right moving towards victory so there's this energy of like if you don't let this person slide if you actually plan accordingly with the King of Swords, you might just have the last laugh, okay, Cancer? Because the Nine of Cups is like, I'm so happy, I'm contented, but it, in a way where it's like, haha, you know, I, I get the last laugh because you're the last person right here. 
because the nine of cups is nine plus this one person is ten so it kind of makes me feel right now that at the end of the day you're gonna get the last love but there's something about the king of swords here that means either some of you may pursue this by cutting this person off completely some of you might pursue this with um receipts proof right because the sword indicates proof information um communication and i feel like when you some of you are collecting these proof or from screenshots you know any sorts of receipts and um, if you pursue it the chariot five of wands again this is like a fight this is like a drama right but i feel like it's gonna be in your favor because the nine of cups is here it's a wish fulfillment card so at the end of it all you're gonna have the last laugh and another thing i'm seeing here also cancer i don't know who this is for but it's very specific it's it's like the nine of cups like i'm gonna just sit back and watch you i'm gonna sit back and watch you struggle i'm gonna sit back and watch you your drama unfold um where it's almost like i don't actually have to be there or do that work or be a part of this drama but i'm gonna sit back and watch you get into your own drama this part yeah it's just for some of you let's see more cancer just take what resonates with you okay i do personal readings they are very accurate I have not had one person telling me that it's not accurate. So if you'd like to book me, just send me an email. Um, this is just a general reading, okay? Don't take it word for word. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you, this could be related to work, money again. Four of Cups in my first, Four of Swords in my first, Ten of Cups in the the world. One, two, three cards that indicates an ending and a new beginning. When there's an ending, there's a new beginning. Some of you are going to start a new job or start on a new project this week. I think it's going to be something that you're going to be way more interested than the Ten of Wands and Lovers. That means um, you might give up on maybe this week or maybe it has already happened okay but it looks like with the world don't take the timing too literally because in tarot timing isn't always very accurate so the world indicates a closing of a chapter like an old job or old career and then you're starting a new one okay because the old one just doesn't serve your highest good anymore and i see you needing to seize uh the opportunity being presented to you And what I'm seeing here also, Cancer, for some of you, whatever you're starting, again, again, it could be related to career. I feel like it's, uh, and for someone, maybe it's love, right? Because the cups are right here. Um, there is a new beginning where some people may tell you that this new beginning, it's not going to, like naysayers, right? Five of Wands, people telling you that, no, nah, that's not going to work, no, nah, uh, this is going to be a mistake with a fool here. But the chariot as the last card. It's basically saying, hey, no, just be confident. Make sure you are ready with the king of swords. As long as you plan it um, properly. And you know that you're in control of wherever you want to go. Whatever you want to achieve. This new thing. It can actually become really, really successful. Okay, Three of cups in my first. Some of you just don't want to work with certain people um because it's like not not work this is not a good team work energy when it's in love first i see also some of the swords in the king of swords planning to look for a new job planning to or start a new business whatever it could be it's like looking for an escape plan or space could be saying before you leave, um, before you leave your job, for those of you, okay? Right. Before you leave your job, make sure that you have proper plans, King of Swords and the Chariot. Mm. And it could be successful.
okay? But it could also mean sometimes the seminars or someone trying to sneak their way back into your life and might cause certain drama with the five of wands here or that they might fight for you, okay? And that could actually be something that you've been wishing for in the nine of cups. And finally, the ball is going to be in your court. That's just for some of you. I see so many random messages here, okay? Cancer, anyway, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information, all of the information is in the description box below. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time when I post your videos. Take care, Cancer. Love you. Bye.